So if you're new here, you're probably unaware of the love that I have for BlackBerry. To put it simply, it is my favorite company ever. In fact, it was actually the first stock that I have ever bought. And just to show you how nerded out I was for BlackBerry, here's a list of BlackBerry phones that I've actually purchased. With that being said, BlackBerry Sense has just completely stopped making phones. They're actually out of that market completely. They do license their name to other companies that wish to make BlackBerry type phones, phones with physical keyboards, the latest of which is Onward Mobility. They are set to actually release a new phone here in 2021 with a physical keyboard and 5G under the BlackBerry name. But what a lot of people don't know is that BlackBerry does so much more than just phones. In fact, they have a list of products that they actually offer. And let me show you them. This coming directly from the BlackBerry website. They have Unified Endpoint Security, BlackBerry Protect, BlackBerry Persona, BlackBerry Optics, Unified Endpoint Management, Embedded Software, Secure Communications such as BBME, remember BlackBerry Messenger, BBM, yeah, that's still alive for enterprise users. They have a couple of other applications. They have automotive software through QNX, which is actually in so many vehicles, yeah, I don't even know. They have BlackBerry Ad Hoc, Transportation Asset Tracking, which is BlackBerry Radar. They have antivirus for homes, Cyclance, which is actually a company that they just bought. And the last thing they have under their company is their phones. And all of this can mean absolutely nothing to you. But I think you'll be surprised to know that they're actually doing pretty well. Let's take a look at these BlackBerry quick facts. They have over 500 million endpoint connected and protected. Over 175 million cars connected and protected. It's nine of the 10 largest automotive OEMs and nine of the 10 top global banks. And they have also been consec 19 consecutive quarters of positive non-GAAP operating income. So they are making money, but I think overall they're still taking losses, but we can see they are starting to turn it around. So with all that being said, we see that BlackBerry is actually a pretty good company. That's why it's always been part of my portfolio. But for the last couple of years, BlackBerry stock has pretty much been stagnant until the last couple of days. Over the last couple of days, BlackBerry stock has been up over 20%. But why? Why is it going up now? Most of it started with the partnership between BlackBerry and Amazon. And let me read this to y'all directly so that I don't confuse any of y'all. The agreement centers on the BlackBerry IVY platform, which reads vehicle sensor data and generates insights from the information that can be stored inside the vehicles and in the cloud. IVY will use BlackBerry's driving software QNX and take advantages of AWS's machine learning and Internet of Things capabilities. This could pave the way for many applications that developers can create for vehicles. One of the examples of what IVY can do is help identify icy roads and areas where there's heavy traffic and then use that information to make recommendations to the driver. There's potential for this to help autonomous vehicles as well. And that's what makes the technology exciting. BlackBerry partnering up with Amazon is actually huge news and could actually lead to future partnerships down the road for BlackBerry. They also had news on selling about 90 different patents to Huawei, a Chinese phone manufacturer, which is also, I think, good news because it just shows you that BlackBerry is no longer in the phone making industry and they're actually refocusing on other things such as this partnership with Amazon. Then there was also news for BlackBerry finally reaching an agreement with Facebook. BlackBerry has sued Facebook for Facebook stating some of the technologies in their messaging app from BlackBerry. But now with this being settled, it's actually good news because that means that BlackBerry is no longer wasting money trying to fight this in court and they finally reached an agreement. So once an agreement is reached, that's always good news for both companies. And that was pretty much all the news that was surrounding this BlackBerry stock over this last week and why it was up over 20% in the last couple of days. And as a long-term holder for BlackBerry, I was pretty happy about this because my average price for my BlackBerry stock was at $4.80. So when it hit highs of $11.55, I was ecstatic. And I actually took some profits along the way. So what should we expect from BlackBerry stock moving forward? Well, quite honestly, I would not be surprised if this stock goes back to around $7 to $8, considering the drop to $9.55 already. 
But moving forward, this definitely should be in a lot more people's portfolios, which is always a good thing. And its success, I think actually depends a lot on this Amazon partnership. If it completely knocks this one out of the park, BlackBerry has so much more growth for years to come. This could lead to more partnerships, more collaborations with other companies, which could just be a massive growth opportunity for BlackBerry, the company. And that's why BlackBerry will always have a spot in my portfolio. I'm very excited to see this true comeback. And as always, guys, thank you all for watching. We hope to see you on the next one and happy investing, guys. Also, fun fact, the majority of this script was actually written on my BlackBerry Classic.